true disciple deserts everything. Luke chapter 14 and verse 33. So you cannot become my disciple without giving up everything you own. Jesus during his earthly life had enormous following but only a handful took the chance of becoming his disciples. It is always easy to follow someone but it is rather difficult to become like them. Jesus had a simple lifestyle. He was born to simple parents in an undesirable place. He worked with his father as a carpenter and he never had a home. He lived where people accepted him. He was more a nomad. More than all of these, he knew who he was and where he had come from and where he was going. He was so sure of his identity, origin and destiny which made life more meaningful for him. He expected the same attitude from his followers and those who could not comprehend remained as followers whereas those who understood escalated to become disciples. Two disciples of Jesus lived for their master and propagated master's ideologies. They were willing to pay a price for their commitment. None of them had a cakewalk. They all toiled relentlessly. In the bargain, they gave up on all what they possessed for the sake of bringing people to Jesus. At times, they had to even give up their most favorite person or program to serve the Lord's people. However, the best part is, for whatever they have lost or given up for the sake of Jesus, they will surely receive several falls since God is not a debtor to anyone. What is lost on earth is gained in heaven because we are on a heavenward journey. Therefore, do not hesitate to give up on anything for Christ's sake. True disciple deserts everything. Amen.